Welcome back, lovely souls. It's time that you remember who the F you are, lovely souls. And this video will be power packed with information. And we want you to know that you did not click on this video by accident. There are messages here for you. I want you to tune in to how you feel when I say certain things that come across today. Are you feeling triggered? Do you feel like you want to run? Are you open? Are you ac accepting the information that's coming through to you? Focus on on how you feel because I'm actually seeing that some of you are wanting to click off and run off of this video because of the discomfort that you feel from the messages that are coming through from me to you. That is a sign to be still and let yourself feel what is coming up within yourself today, lovely souls. So welcome to the energy update video, lovely. So I'm going to give you some powerful pack information on what we moving into. Can you say weird like us, like me, like you? That's a time that we are diving into lovely soul so i want to give some february updates as well as a channel message and pull some cards just for you to take with you today lovely soul and some of the stuff that may come across may be definitely beneficial for you giving you deep insight and clarity and confirmation as well as many of you have sent out uh, messages, needing guidance on your path from the universe, needing clarity, needing uh, awareness and understanding and, and love and more, right? So you were guided here today. So take how it resonates and leave what it does it. Welcome to the channel. I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritual. I'm so grateful to have you all here. I want to go ahead and get into the video. This is, there's a message that I'm feeling. So maybe someone out there needs to hear this. Okay. I'm going to use, say it in the way that I've experienced it. Okay. So we can give it a better understanding. So for me as healing my ancestral pain, I'm hearing that you healing your ancestral whole lineage by the work that you are doing here. This check goes deeper than just healing ourselves. Okay. So someone out there may have found it a challenge because you have really felt the pain of your ancestors. And this has made you feel re like a retaliation. Um, I heard reverse it. It made you feel bitter. I'm also feeling shame and guilt, right? These are feelings that you felt after healing your ancestral trauma. Like you felt these energies, but it made you feel tied to the bitter wanting to get revenge, right? Heal that lovely soul. There will be another way because you may be the one who's going to create something in a whole nother way may with love to help remember your ancestors or just some movement that you may create that, uh, connects with them. You may be working with your ancestors from divine love and light of the highest way, like from the highest realms. And, and they may, uh, work through you to create something here. I heard, I heard, I heard even like tied to a legacy. I'm also feeling that some of you are long overdue and the time is coming and you'll know who this is. Well, you will also be receiving like, uh, ancestral, like it's coming through as rewards. So it could be an inheritance of some sort that will be coming in for you. So take how that resonates. So I know you felt the pain of your ancestors, but do allow yourself to heal and then gain that understanding. Because what I've learned to do and what I've chosen to do was to do that, understand the pain and also understand how, what they've went through but also understand that I don't want to put that energy out of bitterness and create the same cycle, create these same spells, these same curses, whatever you want to call them to continue to go on. Instead, I want to put a stop to it. So that's what I did in order to put a stop to it. I had to do everything different than what I thought I had to do. I had to do it in a whole nother way. Yeah, it is a challenge to feel their pain, right? As well as your own lovely soul. But you wanna do the right thing. You wanna put out what is going to 
create change in the world and not the same thing, right? I'm hearing hurt people hurt people. So if that resonates with you, allow yourself to heal, lovely soul, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the February updates. So I have it written out. So February energy update. These are so different, okay? So themes, love, communication, relationships, and being authentic, your truth, being magnetic. Open your heart and allow the universal energy of love to flow in your heart. Excuse me. Unexpected shifts and changes coming in over the next weeks. You get get ready for unforeseen revelations. And many of you may be experiencing this in your own life right now. Deep, meaningful comfort conversations. And radical change in direction all of a sudden. Let me know down below if you already been experiencing some of this. In the comment section. Shakeups. Surprise endings and beginnings for all. Embrace your uniqueness. Celebrate change. Strange. The unexpected and the weird. Departing from what is ordinary and unusual and to be expected. Break barriers. Believe in something that others think is impossible. Then make it happen. Overcoming beliefs about what is technically possible. Think outside the box and turn your wildest dreams into mind-blowing realities. Prepare for a cosmic adventure. Eye-opening off the charts where possibilities are truly limitless. Have faith. Something you are wanting to manifest is close to coming true. Do not give up on you. Remember who the F you are, lovely soul. It's about that time to shine. Okay, even brighter because you already been shining. Let me give you a quick update off my phone of what I have here for these just, uh, I guess, key points for February. So February 5th, which is today of making this video. Mercury is entering as it's in Aquarius. So teamwork and collaboration, February 8th, sun Uranus in square. So the sun Uranus is square. So, uh, on that eighth, it's about creative breakthroughs and February 9th, Aquarius new moon, be authentic. You February 13th, Mars, Mars is in Aquarius power struggles. February 16th, Venus in Aquarius magnetic attraction. February 22nd, Venus, Mars conjunction, romantic renewal. February 18th, Sun in Pisces, dreamy vibes. February 23rd, Mercury in Pisces, intuitive insights. And February 24th, full snow moon, dreams will manifest. Okay, let's go ahead and get up into it. Let me get you a card from the activations deck. One card spirit for these lovely, amazing souls here today. What message in this activation deck do you have for these lovely souls here today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate you. Much love to all of you lovely souls. Honor you, honor your vessel, lovely soul. Honor your heart one card spirit okay so take them how they resonate number 21 right two plus one is three divine feminine the frequency of divine feminine supports our receptive nurturing and soft side soften up baby allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our in strength understanding so maybe, what's that word? I am pronouncing it wrong. Let's see if I can get it right. Intrastic. Intrastic. I don't, I'm not sure what that word say. Understanding of our connection to all of creation. Okay. Prosperity. Look, six plus three, six, seven, eight, baby. Because the number is 36. Let me do show you this card. Divine Feminine. Okay. I get tongue tied with words sometimes, but I do my best. Prosperity, three plus six, number 36. What's that? Six, seven, eight, nine, right? I said eight, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. So we got prosperity. The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, and soul and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves and joy and celebration of abundance and riches that the universe provides. Check it out. Check it out. We got number six again, third eye chakra. The frequency of the third eye chakra, chakra, the indigo flower of life, supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. I heard really love all the beautiful aspects of yourself. Love those parts of you that make you imperfected. 
Im imperfect, right? Instead of, uh, so it's basically embrace those parts of you that make you not perfect, lovely soul. Just like me, tongue tied with these words and try to pronounce some words. It is what it is. Why be hard on myself? Because I messed up on some of these words and then pronounced them. Uh, okay, this is all happening for a reason. Realization. 37, 7, 8, 9, 10, baby. 1 plus 0 is 1. New beginning. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in the world. Y'all already see it. It's going to definitely look magic. Magic, lovely soul. Magic. Trust and see the magic that surrounds you, lovely soul, because it's on and popping right now. You feel me? Let's go ahead and get you a card from this deck. Y'all stay tuned to the end of this video if you want some deep insight and clarity and messages right that there's some channel messages here for you okay one card spirit in this deck one card in this deck spirit for these amazing souls today what message in this oh look all these cards fell give me a second thank you for your patience lovely soul check it out there's messages in here for y'all that's for sure you know, I like to say for all because I take messages too. Okay, let's get into it. One card, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For one card for these lovely souls here today. What message in this deck would you like to share with these lovely souls today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm hearing this may be tied to the new moon. I feel like this is on February 9th. Okay, so let's see what's up. Thank you, Spirit. What's the message? Okay. What do you need to release? Okay. And I'm feeling like this is now, right? Because I think it is tied to your authentic self as the new moon is coming on February 9th. What is it that you need to release? And I want to say to those that resonates, that's stopping you from being your authentic self. If that part doesn't resonate to you, just ask yourself, what do you need to release? Okay. Be bold. And make the first move. Check it out. Message. Message. Okay. Adjustments are required. Check it out. Message. Okay. Let's get into nothing will come of this situation. That's a particular message to someone out there. Now I want to get into uh, the divine oracle card deck. Let's see. in divine timing. Let's get you a divine timing message. Any messages in this deck, Spirit, for these lovely souls here today that can help them uh, get some type of divine time and message to something they may be curious about, interested in, wondering about, right? Something that may have been keeping them impatient, right? Do check deep within your subconscious mind when you do become impatient. Because when you become impatient, there is likely a belief there that says you need your manifestation to come in order for you to feel fulfilled, for you to be happy, for you to get uh, further than where you are, whatever it is take it how it resonates so do check within yourself and see what's making you feel un impatient okay lovely soul because impatience slows down the manifestation because it feels you need it right when you already have it you understand what i'm saying okay one car is spirit for these lovely souls today what divine time message that is connected to any of these soul situations that they need to hear right now as I'm dropping these cards, baby. Energy flowing through. What what card or what messages? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. I appreciate you. Okay. Let's get into it. November. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Not anytime soon. Take it how it resonates. Have faith. Take it how it resonates. And winter. Take it how it resonates, lovely soul. And I'm am being guided to look on the bottom. So stay positive about it. What? You see it. You see it. You see it. Okay. And trust that it will happen when the time is right. Keep going with the flow of life. Of life. And don't lose hope. Let it happen organically. Okay. Those are the messages that just came through. Right, lovely souls? So let it happen organically. Don't lose hope. Trust what will happen when it trust that it will happen when the time is right. It's so true. Keep going with the flow of life. Yes, everything happens at the right time and surrender 
to a higher power and trust that this is the case, lovely souls. Okay, everything is happening the way it is supposed to in your life. Before I give an angel card and stay tuned to the end of the call, so we're going to give you a star seed card message. Okay, you are experiencing some challenges right now, and these challenges may cause you to feel discomfort and irritable. We want you to know this is a part of evolving. You may have been hit with some seemingly back to back challenges. These challenges are shining light on who you truly are and who you are not. We are sending awareness linked to self-expression and communication. No, it's not wise to act off of your emotions. The planet will continue to experience chaos. Much is coming up to be released. This can be totally discomfort for light workers. Remember who the F you are and let no one take you out your character. Stay calm. Man, let me know down below how many of you needed to hear this message today. This is definitely a time of more deep introspection. You are diving deeper into your psyche, accessing suppressed trauma that has not been felt as a child, a small, innocent you. You learned to express these emotions instead of feeling them. You pushed them away and this gave you lack of understanding of yourself. You may, this may have also caused you to not love or like yourself as much as you would like to. It also may have made you feel as if something was wrong with you. Does it sound familiar? Let me know down below in the comment section. Even if you have heard this before, this is an ongoing thing as you continue to ascend. As for many of you who are guided here today, this is deeply connected to your lack of communication and understanding of your emotions, which has manifested in your reality with a struggle to self-express. Understanding is power and as well as having knowledge that helps you understand yourself better. Some of you here today don't love yourself as much as you would like to. And it's because you don't know yourself all that much. Whoever you are, you may struggle with being authentic as well as feeling a deep fear to stand in your truth. There's something there deep beneath within that needs to be expressed and understood by you. Many of you here today are beginning to realize that the only person who will save you is you this work discussed here is the method is going in it's the way this month of february you might have already noticed it's already taking place right where you're being guided to focus within having to focus more internally on yourself you are being given the opportunity to make deeper changes internally these changes will continue to shift you and move you forward into a totally new reality. One that you know and believe you deserve. One that matches the internal changes within you. As you do this, you will notice how calmer and calmer you will become. Calmness is key. As you continue to awaken, you will no longer be so hyper to what happens in your life, rather quote unquote good or bad. You will be calm, cool, collected, sharp, focused, and tapped in. You are amazing and brave and no one knows what it's like to be you lovely soul. And no one knows unless they've done it, what it's like to go within and do this challenging work within yourself. You are starting to realize how worth it this work is and how you have always been worthy. Man, what a beautiful message today from spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you spirit. Thank you lovely souls for sharing your valuable time. Let me get your angel message and a star seek message to tie it all together. Angels, what messages in this deck do you have for these lovely souls here today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm hearing these light workers, these star seeds, these church chosen ones, these earth angels, even they do not know this is who they are. They are feeling this in their heart, right? Woo, y'all, one car flew. Let's see what it do. Flew all the way over here. 21, 21, energy levels, prosperity, harmony, journey, waiting, discipline, at what aggravation okay and the opposite sex that day you are waiting for will come maintain discipline you are getting closer to your end goal there's no need to overextend yourself guard your energy to remain focused it will pay off it's a climb not an elevator ride trust in you lovely souls. I'm hearing take those small steps forward. That was also a message I definitely felt. Look, okay. There's a message coming through tied to like the nervous system, not a doctor disclaimer, disclaimer, but it is a, like a natural thing for us to think that we got to do more. And whoever this is resonating with here, 
It's not about doing more. It's about doing less. Less is more, right? You've done what you need to do and you continue to do that. You don't have to overextend yourself. Let yourself rest, right? As our nervous system does heal as we rest. It's not about doing more. Okay. As simple as that. That's the message that's coming through. Now the doctor disclaimer, disclaimer, any of that's the only angel message in his deck, right? Yep. Except for here it goes. And you can check out if you resonate with this message, 1551, hold your vision, manifestation, abundance, money, dreams, vision, and prosperity. Focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire. It's time to put your faith and time into your ideas and pursue your goals with all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous, and brave spirit, lovely. So this message, if this message resonates with you, you may resonate with the message I put out the other day on the community, uh, off, uh, off my community, on my channel. And it had a 1551 message there. So that may resonate with you. So do take that how it resonates. You can go check that out and see what else is there. Because there's probably more messages there for you. I was also feeling something else. But I uh, just want to say it's, it's up to you. Someone watching over you. Good fortune. Unforeseen forces and directions. Okay. There's a message here. Even if... It seems like you're not making any meaningful progress. Things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, 2112, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. You see, good times are ahead, baby. The best is yet to come. You are so close, lovely soul. Some of you are longing from home, lovely soul. I'm just like a word like nostalgia or something like that coming through. Don't feel homesick lovely soul and also be careful with the sympathy that you have so it doesn't get in the way of your financial uh situations lovely soul so take that high resonates to whoever need that message all these cards here look y'all see it and then you know what look i didn't even know there was a card here earlier from one of our messages Let's check it out. Emotions are running high. Check it out. Look at the card that we didn't see earlier in the beginning of our uh, reading. Emotions are running high. Okay. That's the card that hit the floor. Let's make sure nothing else is down there, y'all. That's it. Okay. Okay. Messages are coming through. I'm just being very patient and allowing them to flow through. One card, spirit, to tie it all together. What star seed message would you like to share with these amazing souls today as we tie together this lovely energy update forecast video? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit. What is it in this deck you like to share to tie it all together for us? We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, somebody feeling very anxious, man. Just relax, lovely soul. Just relax into your body. If you're worried, just let go of the worry and have faith. Okay? Where we at? Okay, so inner earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Look at that. Let's go deeper to tie it all together. Look at that for a moment. See what's coming through for you. Okay? Let's see. Inner earth. Let's go deeper. Okay. I'm going to find it right now. Okay. I'm feeling it. Now let's just go for it. I almost feel like I'm like overlooking it or something. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate you all. Patience is key. Okay. The inner earth. It says inner earth. Okay. I'm looking for the inner earth. How about inner earth? Okay. There we go. 80. Page 80. Thank you all again for your patience as we tie this together for you. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. I'll let you look at this. The inner earth, also named as Argatha, is believed to be hidden sub, sub, subterranean world. Okay, be a hidden subterranean world within the planet itself. Many ancient cultures mention, there we go, caves. Okay, many ancient cultures mention it in their stories. It's said that some of the beings of ancient lost lands, such as Lemuria, Atlantis, went there. Hindu and Celtic mention caves and entrances to underground worlds. Buddhism refers to the secret mystical city Shambhala, which is thought to be located in the Himalayas. Many have searched for inner earth in the physical world, but without success. So the mystery continues. 
Is it a place that exists in the physical or on another level of consciousness? There are solutions beyond what you can perceive. Surprising outcomes to your problems and situations. Resolutions that are in the best entrance of all involved. Before I finish this, I just keep in this message as like, as you feel the outcome, as if it's all knowing it's already done, you feel it, you see it, you envision it. Don't worry about how it's going to work out. How you going to get there. Don't worry about all those steps. That's the message that just came through right now. Okay. Stay present. And that was something else tied to that. I feel that's coming through. Let me let it come through. Let's get back into it. Okay. So if you find yourself facing an obstacle or feeling stuck and have no idea what to do, you are being reassured that there is a way out. You'll survive these. You'll survive this and things will work out. If you're stuck in a rut, do something to shake up the energy and shift your thinking. Try something you wouldn't normally do. Soon you'll see the whole new world of solutions are available. Things that were previously beyond your focus will present themselves. Helpful people, signs from the universe, and support in both expected and unexpected ways are on their way to you. But first, you need to do something different to shift your focus so you can receive them. Star Seed Soul Inquiry Journal This Lovely Soul. What can you do to shift your energy or your outlook? Look, tying it together right there, the inner earth. It may even mention some of the messages that we have mentioned in this video wait it's not yet time things are being woven okay check it out check it out you ready to jump in that's a message to someone out there and water your garden nourishment body care tenderness and rest there it go lovely so those are the messages that came through for you all today i'm so grateful for each and every one of you thank you for being here sharing your valuable time here with me if you found messages here if you resonate with it if you're feeling the vibes hit that like button baby share this video if you opened up to the truth and you feeling the vibes here on the pure clarity mindset family with miss kelly travel spiritually and the fam you heard go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell if you open up to the real talk if you open up to the new new because everything's about to change right in front of you and in front of me too uh, you heard okay make all your dreams come true i'm actually hearing the word revelations baby pay attention because many of you are receiving those revelations in your life right now you're starting to see that a lot of that stuff that you believed about you was all an illusion it wasn't even true okay come back to see me though peace love and light to you and always remember one love baby peace